I'm Ellie, this is my partner Wes, and we're on the back porch, which means that you're watching an eco ed with Ellie. Giddy up! In Thirsty Trees Part 1, I set you up to demonstrate the differences of the xylem cells in softwood and hardwood trees. If you didn't watch Part 1 yet, I recommend that you go back and watch that one first so you can actually partake in the activity. But, if you're ready for Part 2, let's see if I, the longleaf, beat out Bridget, the sassafras, in who had the most efficient water transport. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. That's it. Oh, well, <laughs> so, as you saw in the demo, the long leaf only took six seconds to pull their water up. If we would have let the video keep going, you would have saw that the sassafras took over a minute to get all the water from their cup up into the paper towel. Now remember, this is a demonstration. Trees don't actively suck. They're actually pretty cool. But tracheids are more efficient at transporting water. This is why some of the tallest species on Earth, like the redwoods and the giant sequoias, are softwood species of trees. Actually, the tallest tree on the planet is located in California. It is called Hyperion, and it is 379.7 feet tall. Having more streamlined water transport coupled with long-lasting evergreen leaves makes softwoods very efficient growers. They can grow quickly and be very tall and very wide. It is why many pine forests are harvested to create necessary timber products like furniture, window frames, floors, roofing, printing paper, pencils, and toilet paper. It is sadly also why there are very few old growth longleaf pine savannas today. European settlers cut down a lot of the longleaf pine forests in the 1800s to build railroads, ships, towns, and create space for agriculture. These decisions made by the settlers is why longleaf pine savanna is considered an endangered ecosystem and that it only covers 3% of its historic range today. This is why longleaf pine restoration projects, like the one happening at my research site in Camden, South Carolina, are so important. Not only do longleaf pines provide quality lumber, but as you've seen in other lessons, they create habitats that are home to a wide variety of different plants and animals. Please continue to learn and explore with the helpful links you can find under the resources tab. And parents and teachers, if you could, pop over to the survey tab where you can provide feedback and evaluate this lesson. Thank you. Happy learning.